Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans 12, verse 2. When we are born, we are given minds that are amazing. They can think, solve problems, create, and do all sorts of wonderful things. However, if we want to see life from God's perspective, our minds need to be renewed. So how does that happen, and what does that look like? For most of us, it begins in holy baptism, when, according to God's holy word, we are united with Christ, buried with Christ, and raised to new life in Christ. We're also given forgiveness and the gift of the Holy Spirit. And we, in, we know according to the small catechism that where there is the forgiveness of sins, there is life and salvation. It continues as we begin to understand that God is the creator and we and all around us are part of his creation. We worship God because he is the creator, not the creation itself. If we don't get that straight, the Bible makes it clear that we're going to get all sorts of things messed up. And finally, our minds are transformed by God's holy word, the Bible. It's through the Bible that we have a proper understanding of the sanctity of human life, of what's right and wrong when it comes to our sexuality, of the importance of forgiving others and why, of the futility of storing up the things of this world, of the joy of giving, of the peace of knowing that our lives are in God's hands, of the power of prayer, of the admonition to make disciples, of the encouragement to bear one another's burdens, of the need to watch and pray, and the list goes on and on. We test what others are saying against the truth of God's word. Jesus said, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. The world will try to convince us that the best we can do is to try to make sense out of life on our own. But there's no need to settle for trying to understand life the best we can in our own efforts. God wants to transform our thinking so that more and more it aligns with His. And that happens as we experience new life in Christ, understand that God is the Creator, and we and everything around us are His creation, and we read study, memorize, and meditate on the Bible so that we can prove what is God's good, acceptable, and perfect will. Press on in the Lord.